Reentry temperatures reaching 1500 degrees Celsius, overheating and melting are challenges faced by countless space missions. But now, SpaceX is taking a groundbreaking step to overcome these limits. Elon Musk recently unveiled an extraordinary upgrade to Starship's protective system, a metallic heat shield. Designed to endure extreme re-entry conditions, this innovation sets a new standard for spacecraft durability and performance. The world's largest rocket is poised to redefine what's possible in space exploration. How exactly will SpaceX achieve this remarkable feat? Join us on today's episode of Great SpaceX as we explore this game-changing development. Indeed, achieving full reusability has been SpaceX's ultimate goal, and the journey has been fraught with challenges. While they've mastered controlled vertical landings and even the daring concept of catching the booster with the Mechazilla arm, one significant hurdle remains, the heat shield. Musk himself has called creating a fully and immediately reusable heat shield the biggest technology challenge remaining for Starship. Early Starship flights highlighted this difficulty, as heat shield tiles often broke or fell off during flight. The problem was most apparent during Flight 4, the first time Starship attempted re-entry. During that mission, the forward flap sustained damage, underscoring the need for significant improvements. SpaceX introduced upgrades beginning with Flight 5 on Ship 30, which yielded noticeable improvements. By Flight 6, SpaceX even removed some tiles on both sides of the ship, signaling a new phase in their testing. Officially, this move was meant to evaluate system reliability before installing catch mechanisms. But recent comments from Musk suggest another motivation entirely. He recently revealed that SpaceX is exploring an entirely new concept, the metallic heat shield. He stated metallic shielding supplemented by eulage gas or liquid film cooling is back on the table as a possibility. This approach includes two key innovations, switching to a metallic material for the heat shield and integrating a supplementary cooling system using eulage gas or liquid film cooling. The shift to a metallic heat shield marks a revolutionary step forward. Up until now, the heat shields on Starship prototypes have been made of ceramic tiles. While these materials have proven effective, the switch to metal could offer several advantages. In 2019, Musk hinted at this possibility, mentioning a stainless steel heat shield as part of an advanced Starship design. He rioted that stainless steel is not only cost-effective, priced at only $3 per kilo, compared to $200 per kilo for high-quality carbon fiber, but also highly durable. At the time, SpaceX tested a large metallic tile with a flamethrower, demonstrating its ability to withstand temperatures up to 1100 degrees Celsius or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, SpaceX is utilizing an even higher grade material, 304L stainless steel. This promises enhanced performance and resilience, potentially making the metallic heat shield a game-changing addition. The decision to remove tiles during Flight 6 may have been part of testing the capabilities of this material under the extreme conditions of re-entry. Observations from the flight revealed slight discoloration and deformation of the stainless steel, but no significant damage, proving its immense potential. Moving forward, SpaceX will likely focus on reinforcing the material to improve its durability and reliability. In addition to the material change, the heat shield will incorporate a supplementary cooling system. This system could employ either eulage gas or liquid film cooling to enhance the shield's effectiveness. Water, methane, and nitrogen are among the most likely candidates for the cooling agents. Water is a straightforward option, while methane, as Starship's primary fuel, would simplify the transfer process for heat shield support. Nitrogen, which is also stored at Starbase, could serve as an inert gas to form a protective layer between the ship and the superheated plasma encountered during re-entry. This combined system will essentially transform Starship into what Musk described as a stainless steel sandwich. The concept involves flowing a cooling agent, such as water or fuel, between two layers of stainless steel. Tiny perforations on the outer layer allow the cooling agent to bleed through, dissipating heat during re-entry. This mechanism, known as a transpirational heat shield, 
It is designed to absorb and manage the extreme temperatures Starship will encounter, potentially exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius. These upgrades aim to create a heat shield capable of rapid and repeated reuse. By overcoming the melting point of current materials, SpaceX moves closer to achieving a fully reusable spacecraft. When combined with the company's efforts to catch both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship itself, this innovation promises to redefine reusability in the aerospace industry. Of course, challenges remain. The integration of additional systems like transpirational cooling adds complexity and mass, which could impact the spacecraft's overall performance. Reliability is another hurdle, as any failure in the heat shield system could jeopardize an entire mission. SpaceX will need to address these issues through rigorous testing and continued innovation. What do you think about SpaceX's metallic heat shield concept? Do you have suggestions or ideas for improving this system? Let us know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking developments. Together, we're witnessing a new era in space exploration, one step closer to making life multiplanetary. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. SpaceX's ambitions for Starship extend far beyond Earth, targeting destinations with even greater challenges. One of the primary goals, and the very reason Starship was created, is Mars. To achieve this, the heat shield will need to become significantly stronger. A few days after Flight 6, SpaceX released images of heat shield materials being tested in a simulated Martian atmosphere. These tests, featured in the Flight 6 livestream, are intended to prepare for the first Mars mission planned for 2026. Initially, it seemed as though these tests used the same heat shield materials currently in use, but upon closer inspection of SpaceX's posts, it appears the materials may have been upgraded. There is even speculation that this could involve the long-discussed metallic heat shield. Mars presents unique re-entry challenges. While its atmosphere is thinner than Earth's, re-entry is far from simple. Test conditions shown in SpaceX's footage depicted flames turning blue and purple, indicating temperatures between 1400 and 1700 degrees Celsius sustained over time. The heat shield materials, while resilient, displayed some cracking under these conditions, suggesting further enhancements are necessary for reliability. These upgrades must occur continuously over the next two years to achieve the ultimate goal of a successful Mars mission. For now, upcoming Starship flights will be critical for testing and iterating on the current ceramic tile system. In Starship V2, the heat shields will likely be strengthened in preparation for more demanding conditions. While the materials themselves may not yet change, incremental improvements will provide valuable data to advance their performance. Flight 7, for instance, is expected to feature a steeper re-entry angle than Flight 6, which already pushed the limits compared to previous flights. This increased difficulty will test the heat shield's ability to handle great thermal loads. Beginning with Flight 8, SpaceX plans for Starship to attempt landings using the Mechazilla arm, an even more challenging maneuver. The heat shield must function flawlessly to protect the vehicle during re-entry and ensure it's in a condition suitable for reuse. Each flight brings us closer to Starship's ultimate potential, and the performance of its heat shield will play a pivotal role in these developments. Shifting gears, SpaceX also continued its dominance in other areas with the recent Falcon 9 mission. On December 16th at 7.52 p.m. Eastern, SpaceX launched its 126th Falcon 9 from LC-39A delivering a secret military payload. Although the mission's details were classified, the payload was revealed to be a GPS satellite system under the Rapid Response Trailblazer, or RRT-1, designation. Originally scheduled for December 13th, the launch was delayed due to weather. While this mission might not seem groundbreaking, it underscores SpaceX's growing influence in the military and government launch markets. Notably, the payload GPS-3 SV-07 was initially set to launch aboard ULA's Vulcan rocket in late 2025. However, delays with Vulcan prompted its reassignment to Falcon 9 earlier this year. According to Colonel James Horn, we decided to pull SV-07 out of storage and tried to get it to the launch pad as quickly as possible. It's our way of demonstrating that we can be responsive to operator needs with NSSL class missions. This situation highlights SpaceX's reliability and flexibility compared to its competitors. ULA is currently responsible for launching GPS-3 SV-07, 08, and 09, while SpaceX is tasked with SV-10. 
However, the reassignment of SV-07 is an example of how SpaceX is steadily capturing a larger share of the military and government launch market. In the National Security Space Launch Program, the largest government launch contract, SpaceX has outpaced ULA largely due to Vulcan's delays and ongoing certification hurdles. Although Vulcan has flown two missions, persistent issues have slowed its progress, putting ULA at risk of losing critical market share. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to demonstrate its reliability by meeting tight schedules and successfully completing missions. Their operational efficiency and capability to adapt are proving invaluable as they strengthen their position in both commercial and government sectors. If Vulcan doesn't achieve significant progress soon, ULA's foothold in this competitive market could erode further. As SpaceX marches forward, it's clear their technological advancements and operational consistency are reshaping the aerospace industry. With their eyes set on Mars and continued success across all domains, SpaceX remains the leader to watch. The question now is whether their competitors can rise to meet the challenge or be left behind. In any case, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.